it's been a long time since my last video and i thought that it was about time that i shared my next video and uh unfortunately i have been blessed with an amazing cold and a fantabulous fever and i have not been feeling all right all week uh so i'm gonna be trying to make this video uh, as short and sweet as possible and also you're not gonna be seeing my face because i look sick and ugly as heck okay uh so this is an artwork that i made recently and uh, if i go to render view you can uh, see what it looks like there you go it looks nice it, it, it's an artwork uh and uh, you can see that I have this fog in the background, which looks pretty good. Uh, if I disable the fog, well, you can see what it looks like now. Oh, well, it actually kind of looks cool. Uh, but, you know, the fog kind of gives this uh, feel to the entire image, right? Uh, here's another image, another artwork, uh, this one. And uh, if I go into render view in this one, uh, you can see what it looks like. And uh, I can disable the fog over here and uh, you can see it does not look good. So basically volumetrics, give, uh, volumetrics have this tendency to make your image better, okay? Obviously not every image, but when used uh, in the right condition, in the right manner, volumetrics can make your image look way better. And uh, the way that I added the fog, everybody knows that, you know, I just added, you just add a big cube and uh, you use your uh, volumetric shaders on that cube, right? Only that the fog that I use in my images is not volumetric, at least not most of the time. There are times where I do use volumetric uh, shaders, but most of the time I just avoid volumetric shaders because I just don't want to give the uh, extra render time to my images when it's not even worth it, right? Uh, for example, take a look at this image you know uh, for this image i use a volumetric shader and uh, it was worth it uh, while for an image like this for where the fog was supposed to be in the background and you know the god rays or whatever it is is not even going to be visible i don't ever need to use volumetrics you know i don't want to cost re on render time so uh, i'm going to show you a simple trick how you can make fake fog and uh, actually fake volumetrics and uh, how you can get away with it so i'm gonna open a new file all right i'm gonna delete everything add in a cube so this is the cube that we'll be using for our volumetrics let's go into the shading panel in the front view and in the rendered view cool i'm going to disable the overlays uh let's add a new material to this so usually what you do is you just uh, go in and add in a uh, uh principal volume shader and you plug the volume into the volume and uh, there you go you have this volumetrics right you've got volumetrics now and uh, you reduce the density and uh, you kind of play with it until you get what you want right okay that's too less so that's how you make uh volumetrics usually uh this is cool only that uh, you don't want the render time so what you do is you add in a another shader which is the emission shader and you plug that into the volume instead so right off the bat you should have something glowing like a tesseract so what you have to do is reduce the strength to something very low and uh, there you go you have it you can see that now we have a volumetric effect i mean it's not actual volumetric uh, but uh, you can see that we have fog now and uh, it's pretty cool the more you increase the strength the more uh, thicker that your fog gets i usually use something like a uh, 0 0.005 which is very thick but you know it's in the background and it doesn't even matter but it does contribute a lot to the image and it's not just fog that you can do with it you can actually do a lot of things with this for example i'm gonna add in a uh, simple noise texture and a converter color ramp and uh, plug the noise into the color ramp and uh, you know kind of bump up the contrast in this noise thing with this and uh, plug that into the strength of the emission shader and uh, you know you can see that uh, we have something like this you can increase the contrast of the uh, noise texture you can play with the settings like this and uh, you can actually make nice uh, clouds with this let's pump up the contrast more there you go you can see that uh, these look like good clouds and uh, yes you can always make it 
more stronger. Uh, now, why would you want to use this cloud? I'm, oh, this actually kind of looks like smoke too. <laughs> now, why would you want to use this? Obviously, now you can't make extremely detailed clouds with this, like how you do with volumetrics, right? Uh, but uh, if you want clouds in, if you just want clouds in your image, say you want clouds in the background, or uh, you just want clouds to cover up the horizon, or just you know clouds are there in the uh, in one in some corner of the sky well then this is what you can use to save up on render time instead of using volumetrics and it is animatable too you just have to bring up your uh, mapping and texture coordinate nodes with the uh, of the noise texture and uh, you can bring up your timeline uh, you know you can set a keyframe for the location and uh, maybe go to another frame and set another keyframe for another location and uh, now when you play it it will be it will actually be moving so yeah it's actually entirely animatable so that's what makes this cool uh so yeah a lot of people just end up using volumetrics for so many things that you don't even need to use volumetrics for example you're making a planet and uh, you just need clouds uh, covering the planet you know a lot why even use volumetrics in, the, in that place i don't know uh because you can get the job done with an emission shader and uh, save up on render time enormously so this is just a cool trick that i wanted to show you um i hope this helped you if this video did help you uh, if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up and uh, if you want to see more good content like this please consider giving my channel a subscribe as it would help me and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and i will see you in another video and hopefully you will be able to see me too because uh, i probably will not be sick then so until then, bye-bye, and this is Vishnu Minan signing off. <laughs>